Okay. Uh, hello. Welcome to another um, YouTube video of Moonlit Soap Work. And um, today, I'm, this is going to be my second attempt to um, make a batch of soap for Amy's soap challenge for August. Uh, this month's challenge is going to be menstruate swirl soap, which will be made in a slab. Um, I don't have a slab mold, so I have a homemade one out of a shoebox. As you can see, it will work. Um, well, the last one I did when I was, I was attempting to do it more for practice purposes came out horrible and I have not yet uploaded that YouTube video yet. Might not ever going to, but um, the soap that came out was quite funky. Um, this will be a um, second attempt and hopefully this will be better. So um, I have the light water here and I have a, the my oil all warm up over here. This is a new recipe of um, oil combination so hopefully it will hold up for me. Um, I went out one kind of oil so I had to quickly refigure and we we crunch my number through um, the light calculator to make sure that everything worked out fine. So here we go. And this soap is going to be in the middle it's gonna be gray and then I'm gonna have with a swirl side and all the color the colorful size is gonna be um, yellow with this beautiful new orange I just got in it's called ice flame orange I bought it from a one a supplier of uh, Etsy so very excited to try it out see this color and see if it will hold up and the yellow and it's gonna be have black and white and um, I, the large section of it is going to be gray. So I kind of have one of this gray and yellow combination. So um, hopefully it'll work out for me. Okay, now let's make some soap. Here's my fragrance. This is going to be Energy, which is a, always a good, reliable fragrance for any kind of new soap testing. So, simply because it never we add, it always behaves very well. It's nice and slow and smell really, really nice. Okay. Okay, 60. And let's give it quick, one quick little spin. titanium diaspite going into it so that have the base a little bit wider before I even see it off on it. I was supposed to pour them all even, but I do want a little tiny bit more of the um, yellow in the soap than the other one. So, this is about right, I hope. Oops, ah, dropping everything. Okay, let's clean this up. Check out the 
inspiration for this soap color is actually from one of my home improvement magazines. Um, I can't really recall this. Um, is it HGTV magazine or, or Better Home and Garden? It's one of the two magazines that they were talking about color and they group them by color and they're trying to talk about uh, the kind of different color combination you would like to try and then in it was um, yellow and gray and I just thought I always thought any color any light pastel -y color with gray always look beautiful but um, just never thought about making a batch of soap with those two colors so this will be kind of my first try and here's the activated charcoal it's already pre-mixed it and wanted to have a nice gray a little bit darker than that just a little bit hopefully not too much okay just wanted to have kind of like a light to medium gray actually should I get a little bit more hopefully I don't mess it up pretty gray okay I think so okay let's close up this bottle okay go ahead and blend this one in just a little bit more so that it could be a little bit thicker when I pour into the middle so it doesn't run over since my divider is an airtight uh, it's gonna seep through to the other side so hopefully if I blend it into a little more medium tray it would it would not seep through as much She had demonstrated Amy from Great Cake Soap Work have demonstrated two different techniques for this particular um, style and uh, one of them have the squeegee bottle going sideways and then you come in with a skillet and you go and you go through it and the other one you had the squeegee bottle going up on the long way and then you go straight in to do the swirl so um, I'm gonna be very ambitious I'm gonna try two different <laughs> way on one of each end of this soap and see which one come out nicer uh, here we go okay hopefully you won't see through too much here's the middle okay just come in for half of it okay fast because I'm, the middles is coming through because you know like I say I don't have the perfect mold for this kind of work but uh, I'm meant to invest in a nice little slab mold and with divider down the line but until then until then we'll just have to make do with what we have and I'm sorry it's a little messy but those of you who have seen my video before have already know I am the messy soap <sighs> but my soap will clean I promise Thank you. 
Could probably use a smaller bowl. I don't think I make quite enough. It's gonna be a shorty. Just a little bit, so this is nice. And I'm gonna pour the middle in some more. I think it's actually firming up quite a bit in the middle. So let's go in this. this so we're gonna waste any soap um, and so we're gonna waste any soap and I really should be rushing through this process uh, but I don't want to waste soap okay okay beautiful okay keep going I feel like one side is going to come out much prettier than the other side but then it might surprise me which happened a lot Once again, it's another one of my super messy, okay. let's see how this goes, straight up here, and this one too. I'll take my microphone. on. That'll be great. And straight up. Okay. Ah, here we are. This is the one that needs the skillet to come through and come through and come through. Size are good to go, and then I'm gonna come in with the back of this handle, and I'm gonna go in there with like an eight. That's what they say, an eight. Can go. Thing is the prettiest eight ever. Oops! Ah, too much, too much. Mm. I messed up over here a little bit. Ah, it's okay. Blend it again. Blend it again. <laughs> yes. Last twisty end didn't quite work out. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Okay. 
Okay, there you have it. This one is the Mentress Shawl for Amy's Soap Challenge from uh, Great Kick Soap Work. And the scent is Energy for Bramble Berry. And let's see how it looks.